Welcome everybody back to the haunted hijinks here on the Frostbite. It's me, your hostess, Lady V Dimitret, Lady Vimitret Vivitresk. In the first weekend of October here when you're watching this, as of course the weekends are Lady D weekends, my Lady Dimitrescu from Resident Evil 8 is one of my favorite video game characters of all time. Once I saw her outfit, it was like, holy shit, if she wore a fucking sexy blouse under that, it's iconic, as I've proven for three Halloweens in a row now. This is the inaugural look, yellow contact, purple, my favorite, my, probably my second favorite blouse of all time, if not a strong contender for number one. But tonight for Halloween, our, our Halloween Hoot Nanny of Horror here on The Frost Bite. With me, the hostess with the mostest, the bestie who's the bestie, the cringiest cross-dresser on all of YouTube, don't get me wrong. We're going to talk about head explosions. And if your head's already exploded by hearing my voice and being like, oh shit. Well, sorry. So, head explosions are nothing new in film. They happen all the fucking time. Sorry, I'm just checking my restream because something glitched out. Okay, anyway. We're, I'm live. I do it live. I do it live. Well, I'm undead, but I do it live. Anyway, so head explosions have been around forever. There's been a ton of them in movies, but what are like the 10 best? Now, my criteria for this was that it had to be a practical head explosion. Uh, and it, it, each one has a little something different, although some, you know, there's a lot of similarities, but there's a little something different about all of them, and I think you'll enjoy it if you like this kind of thing and YouTube doesn't just block the video for all the fucking gore I'm about to show you. But anyway, number 10, psh, The Running Man. Sci-fi, written by Richard Bachman, a.k.a. Stephen Stefan King, might I add. So, what's the problem? It's horror. Uh, sci-fi, it's, it's not. It's sci-fi action, I know, but boom. They have these collars around their neck. Very Suicide Squatty in a sense, except they're not in the neck. They're around the neck. Uh, but somebody breaks the perimeter. The collars weren't disarmed. And look at this head explosion. The chunkier, the better with these things. But it's it's long range, it's from a distance. You got the guy running, it's a really good effect. I mean, obviously he's probably running hunched over and that's the prop head blowing up, but it looks good. I mean, it's a full body 80s head explosion. No CG, this was a, this was a practical effect and it's super, super impressive. Number nine, one of my personal favorite movies, Chopping Mall. Not just because she wears a black satin blouse early on, button to the top. Uh, no reason for that. Uh, no reason that, that doesn't sway my decision, I should say. But look at this. Ah, I mean, th the fact that you have Robo, you know, a mix between, you know, TikTok from Return to Oz and Johnny Five, it's like child running, or actually Rob the Robot. You know, these are like adult Rob the Robots, like, I guess that's the closest thing, to be honest, I guess. Um, running around with laser beams, blowing people with freaking laser beams on their head, blowing fucking heads off. I mean, good practical effect. The cut is pretty good because you're dealing with a laser. So you can kind of hide it a bit with the effect, but it's chunky, it's good. There's a lot of smoke. Psh, are you trying to say she was an airhead? I don't know. The 80s movies were very sexist. Sexist. The weed is kicking in. Anyway, Chopping Mall, great head explosion, one of the 10 best. And moving on up, we gotta go to a bona fide classic with George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Now, this is a classic one, but it's, 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 the problem is it's, it's just so, you know, you, you, it, t it takes you out of it immediately because how fake it is before it happens. Like, an edit of a fraction of a second more, if they could have done it, or even would have just been so better. Because it's just, you see the fakeness and you're like, ah, and then, but it's, it's iconic. It's still great. It is still great. But that's why it's not higher on my list. I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's like the best one ever. No, it's fucking not. I would justify my answers because those people that can't are just repeating what they heard on the internet. Next, we have the story of Ricky, or Ricky O, I think. But this is a head smack. I mean, look, now, the same criteria applies as the last one. Like, you can tell it's so fake. It's a little bit better here because it's more so the body. Because the head explosion, crushing, implosion, excre you know, is just so incredible because the back half of the head comes, like, totally off. It is so fucking good. So fucking great. And at the time, it was like, oh, shit. Like, you know, you've seen a lot of, like, you know, the they're shooting something and it pops kind of thing like we just saw at Dawn of the Dead and we're going to see in a second more of but it just works and it just because it's it's a, it's a hand sma it's a physical hand physically smashing a head and it's fucking great it's brutal it's silly but it's worthy of being number seven numero six oh we have uh House of the Devil Greta Gerwig would go on to direct Barbie and did a fantastic job look at this is fucking brutal 
Uh, I mean, it's just the, it, I love it when the explosion isn't the whole head because that's just too easy, I think. It's just like it blows her, literally blows her face off. Like legit, like watch. <laughs> like the jaw bone's still there. Fucking great. Fucking brutal. Unexpected. Like, you, you figure something's going to happen. Like they're going like, to drag her out and like stab her or something. But this is just, this was shocking. It was just like, oh, fuck. And it was like, rewind. That's badass. And then we have, of course, Deadly Friend. Now, oh, this is like the perfect blend of Dawn of the Dead and Ricky, the story of Ricky, because you know it's fake, but you don't expect like it to f like, you don't know what's gonna, you're like, what? And then the pieces, the chunks, like the, I love it when it's big chunks. I don't like the, when it disintegrates. That's cheap, I like, I like the chunks. And this is certainly a chunky head explosion from Mama Fratelli. Then we have the Prowler, great shotgun fucking death. Like, you know, they're struggling with the shotgun, guess what? Now, of course, you know, again, I, I like the chunks, but look, the mouth, the mouth is what gets me, like, that uh, part. It's just so fucking brutal, so fucking good. Love it. Good enough to be number four, just shy of the top three. So what are the top three head explosions in films, according to the crossdresser on YouTube? Well, I'll tell you, number three, Maniac. Tom Savini, this is what, this is, it's just, again, it, it, the thing is, this is everything you want in a head explosion. It's got that little moment of fakeness to like make you kind of enjoy it more because you're accepting the silliness. And then it's just the pieces, the chunks, the slow-mo, the blood on the face, the editing goes together so good for this one. It's super fucking great. So finally, or not, semi-finally, I should say, the second one, you ever seen, you ever seen that part in Scanners where the guy's head blew up? Uh, scanners, you know, most people, oh, it's gotta be scanners. This, this fucking, uh, Zennial's gonna pick fucking, uh, not Zennial, with a Z, X, X, Gen X, the Gen X millennial micro generation. Not a boomer, the one under boomers, like, but between Gen X and Zennial. 1980, baby. Uh, scanners. Most people like go to scanners because it was so iconic and it is still fucking amazing. It's, 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 it's liquefaction, but chunky and brutal. The skin flap coming over the face and like the mustache just makes it so fucking iconic. Incredible. But I think the best head explosion in ever filmed is from the beyond because Oh, it's it's the it, at, it, it, at first it's like a solid mid, but then the second shot of it reeling back and like the brain and whatever's left of the brain just comes shooting out the front. This to me, it, it, it's silly, but so fucking disgusting at the same time. Like there's something about this one that watching these all and I debated like really heavily on these. There was just something about this one that was just like. This has got to be like, it, this has to be like one or two. And finally I settle on one because it's, it's that, it's that second shot. It's just so fucking brutal. So fucking disgusting. The best head explosion in all of cinema. Now before YouTube censors explode from all the gratuitous violence that you saw in this episode of The Frost Bite. Uh, by now, subscribe right here if you want to. If not, it's fine. Watch the live streams. I do it all there. Uh, this video is one that YouTube thinks you should watch based on all the other weird freaky shit that you think nobody knows that you watch, but they know. They fucking know. Uh, let me know what video that one is down in the comments. Like it. All that fun stuff.